What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I split the boxes into two different things. Put one box was full of kind of sealed product and the other box was cards and might be booster packs. I'm not sure. I can't remember. This was so long ago. When they hit the USA, FedEx or it wasn't actually FedEx. It was the customs people. They held it. Uh, they held it for like three or four days saying they were disputing how much the cards were worth. They were disputing loads of stuff. I was getting emails every day and it was really, really annoying. I'm looking at one of the boxes now and some of the stuff has not been in the envelope. I've, I've only just opened it just now. I've kept everything sealed and uh, I'll show you right now. So everything is usually put into the blue envelopes that you guys are accustomed to. But these packs are literally lying on the top of... Um, on the top of the the box um so i don't know i feel as though a customs officer ripped into it it doesn't look like he actually opened any of it he just wanted to see what it was but these were like ripped out of the the envelope these are from the latest set there we go the latest set of rapid strike master and rapid strike master and single strike master these are the promo cards i do have these as singles later on in the video but yeah today we have loads of different things i honestly can't even remember you know what's inside half of this stuff so this is just more more of these i got tons of these because at some point japan's gonna run out and i know you guys are gonna want them so i just got a ton in bulk uh, they're kind of expensive to be honest with you these are some promo xy break these are old guys old xy is becoming old enough to be considered quite rare these are very very difficult to come by these xy break packs um these have one promo in it and a set of six i'm glad these are finally being shown so what comes in these you may ask are these cards here and hopefully i have the set of two so only two cards come in this pack the red pack of these so this actually has a red version exact same pack art and everything is just in red and this is what's inside just a really cool uh cinderace so this is a set and i probably will sell it as a set the number one promos which you've probably seen a ton of on my uh website i got more of those these are very difficult these ones to get these are very popular the red number two promos those come with the flareon i believe it's the flareon card which everyone is after. Then I have the black promos, which come with the Vaporeon, I believe. And then the number four promos. These promos, if you're wanting to get them, buy them now because they are going up in price in Japan. These are gym promo packs from the Sun and Moon era. So this is gym set 10. I believe the last set of the Sun and Moon era. So I just de I decided that instead of uh, just bringing in the booster boxes, I got uh, my supplier to run down to the Pokemon Center in Japan and uh, buy me single packs of stuff. And what did he buy? He bought me, I think, close to 120 uh, Dream League packs. Uh, 120 of these beautiful, beautiful packs, which are so, so, so expensive now. Super expensive. So I got, like, tons of them. Um, these will be out as single packs on the website. So he sent me this video of them uh, putting out the booster packs in the Japanese Pokemon Center. Imagine having this, guys. Imagine the sculptors in English if they if they were doing this. Here are a different kind. These are these are one of my favorites. Look how nice and clean that is. Sorry, here we go. The number fives. So you get the Nuzleaf, Wilmer, Mr. Mime GX, uh, Deoxys. That's the big, big boy right there. Heatran and Delcati. Let's ha take a look at the Deoxys. Pretty cool. And it has the Pokemon uh, Gym Promo stamp right there. So remember, it only comes with one Pokemon. So, so here are the Gym Promo nines. So I've got like pretty much not the whole set, but close to it. The pink ones, more Dream League. I got enough Dream League for absolutely everyone to get booster packs in before the price goes absolutely crazy. That's what I did. Gym promo number seven. So if you're collecting these, I'm going to have basically, you know, a close entire set for you all. Okay, so this this box, this entire box here, guys, I can't even fit it on the, uh, fit it on the camera in front of you, but it is filled to the brim of, that's right, tag all stars. I got... 
I think like six booster boxes. No, it must be more than that. It feels like it's around 200 packs. Look at that. It's packs on packs on packs. Look at that. So yeah, that that is it for the booster packs, I think. I'm gonna have a lot of tidying up to do after this, guys. A lot of tidying up. Where do I find the promo cards in bulk? I don't find them. My supplier in Japan, I just tell him, please, can you go find more promo packs for me? And he goes and finds promo packs for me. I don't do it. I just use Plaza Japan as like a marketplace for what the markets like in Japan. Don't actually buy anything off of here. I used to when prices were good. They used to have really good prices. You could buy Sun and Moon packs, uh, Sun and Moon booster boxes for like $39, $40. Now they're like 80. It's crazy. So the classic makeshift cardboard and the 10 pieces of tape holding it together. What is this? Ooh, boys. I don't know if you saw it, but I saw it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Charizard. VMAX shiny. So here we go. We got some singles here. A hey, more Charizards. So for those of you who love the Vivid Voltage Charizard, I have plenty. Uh, these kept selling out on my store like in a flash. Like people would buy like four or five of them. Okay, so I got a couple really nice cards. Uh, not the horror energy. Uh, not the lightning energy, but these uh, full art trainers from Shiny Star V. I got a couple in. Um, a lot of people have been asking for full art trainers from Shiny Star V. And guess what, guys? We got a second. We got a second, yes. If you have a Marnie, I will trade you this for a Marnie, okay? Now, some of you may say, hey, a Marnie is more expensive than the Charizard. Well, if you really want this Charizard, voice crack just there. <laughs> if you really want this Charizard, it's gonna cost you a Marnie or it's gonna cost you however much the, I can't remember how much uh, I bought it for. So these are from Tag Bolt. Uh, really, really nice Charizards uh, from Tag Bolt. These are really freaking expensive. It's very odd that these are going up in price. I have no like real reason why these cards are so expensive just for a regular hollow Charizard, but it is what it is, guys. Once I figured out how expensive these cards were, I decided to buy like a ton of them. So we have uh, some Rayquaza or how I say Rayquaza. There's another way to say Rayquaza and I can't think of it. Rayquaza. I don't know how you say it, but I say Rayquaza. I really wanted these in because check that out. I know my camera looks like this right now. It's kind of blurry and the definition's not that good, but I got more of these because you guys really wanted them. Some more Charizards. I know this is a Charizard themed opening for some reason, and I don't normally do that. So more amazing rares, just the Kyogre is nothing special. Although this, this and the, um, all these, although these are really common, uh, these and the Rayquaza are my favorite. This next one's exciting because I've got like quite a lot of these cards coming in because most of you probably didn't even realize this card existed. So we have these promos. Rayquaza promos. Uh, these were released earlier this... this year? No, it must have been last year. Really nice, really, really nice hollow of Rayquaza. The artwork is lovely. Got plenty of them. These are not the only three which I have. There are plenty of them. They've sellotaped it literally to the inside of the envelope. Look at that. Okay, so this is what we got. The uh, Tyranitar Full Arts. I know lots of people love this full art from the Battle Styles. Gorgeous cards. Really, really nice. So, really cool Hoopa promo. Oh gosh, trying to give you the best. There you go, and you can see there's a tiny Pikachu down there. These are going up in price quite a bit in Japan. Some Hop promos, Sword and Shield promos. These are going up in price steadily. These were for part of the Sword and Shield booster box purchase campaign. Okay, these ones here are really interesting. So I got a bunch of these in. So these are uh, sealed promos from the uh, e-reader series. And they're all the same card. Okay, so these are the special some special promos that i want to show you guys japanese exclusive i got four of them so as you can see here it's just a regular old trainer but if you look here these were given can you focus please these were given to event organizers i don't know if you can see 
it perfectly but it does say event organizer on it but these ones are kind of cool these are only given out to people who participate it's kind of like a staff promo i guess but these are much more common than staff promos but still really really cool i absolutely love these i just love getting like random stuff that i've never seen before like i'm not like someone who's gonna go out and buy like Okay, I was waiting to say I'm not going to go out and buy like 20 Charizards because there's probably around 20 Charizards on the table. But I'm not someone who's going to buy like 20 base set Charizards and 20 Venusaurs and like all that kind of stuff. I want to find like stuff that you guys have never seen before. At the beginning of the stream, we were talking about these. What comes in the blue ones. So we talked about the red ones where the red ones come with the uh, Cinderace uh, promos. The blue ones, so this one right here, this this uh, this pack here, this comes with Rillaboom. So usually when a set first releases, what I do is that's the cheapest it'll ever be. When a set first comes out, it usually is the cheapest that it'll ever be, especially especially when it's on a pre-order. So if you ever want something Japanese, pre-order it, it's way cheaper. Usually like when I first got Shiny Star V, I just put one box, the first edition boxes, I put like in the back of my cupboard. Tag All-Stars, when I was getting them for $40, $50 each, put them in the back of my cupboard. That's the best way to do it. Do not wait until you see a price rise because that's when the crazy madness starts happening. My rule of thumb with Japanese is buy a set and hope that it, so you can get pre-orders off of Japanese, uh, from Japanese places way, way, way before any information's out. I pre-order all the boxes that I sell on my website, I pre-order months in advance. So the double fighter booster boxes I pre-ordered two months ago. I had no idea what the set was gonna be, no idea. But if you wait until information about the set comes out, the prices go crazy. So this one's just a small card. Um, I can't even remember why I bought it, but uh, this is a Grudon. Uh, Grudon promo. Can't remember why I bought it, but it was from the XY era. I think it was kind of, I can't remember. I think maybe a friend wanted me to get it. I can't remember. So I got like a, a nice message from someone. If you're, if you're Japanese, I don't know which way it goes. I don't know. I get told off all the time. Because I like flip things <laughs> the wrong way. I don't know. I'm sure it says something nice. So we got these nice Pikachu sleeves. And more of the Rayquaza promos. I told you guys I was trying to get a lot of these promos in. I know you guys love some vintage. I got a ton of new Dragonite promos. Yes, these are promos. These are the Game Boy promos. Look at that. Look at that right there. Game Boy promo, vintage. Have a quick check of the back. Has a few white dots on it. Probably not the best for grading, as you can see, like a bit of whitening up the top. So these are uh, the start. We talked about this a while ago. I think this is the Starter V EV promos, I believe. Really nice holographics. Got a couple of those. Uh, these are just more of the Rayquaza promos. Like I said, there's going to be plenty, plenty available. So I managed to buy this gorgeous shiny Star V Charizard. So the retail price is, uh, you know, like 160-ish, 160 So I managed to get this one for a uh, $80. And, or it was $75, $75 and then plus like the shipping to my supplier was probably around $80. And the reason for that is because it has, if you could see uh, along here, there's a bit of edge wear. And I don't care, I don't care because I don't really grade my cards. I just wanted to complete the master set of this. These are beaten up. I did not expect them to be this beaten up. So these will be probably cheaper than what I got them for. So I really wanted this Delta Species one, but look at that crease, man. Holy crap. Ouch. And then we have this one here, which is from the VS series, vintage card, Rayquaza. And then the creme de la creme of the, of the, uh, of the cards is this uh, EX first edition Rayquaza, but it has a giant crease right here. So these cards are not worth a lot anymore. <laughs> When I first looked at the pictures, they didn't look that bad because I was like, oh, it's an EX series one, a VS series one, and this is a Meiji, Meiji, Meiji. It's a chocolate company in Japan, I believe. Black Star promo, and I was like, I'll take them. And obviously I didn't look close enough at the pictures, so I got kind of screwed on that. But 
that's what happens. So here uh, are some promos that you guys are probably been waiting for. These are the honey promos. Yay! So if you bought a Rapid Strike Master and Single Strike Master booster box, you were given one of these promos. Now these promos are really expensive. We're getting close to the end, guys. Okay, this is just one card. The Rayquaza one, that must mean like dirt cheap or something from a card store, I guess. I managed to go to a store, or I did manage to go to a store. The guy who bought me these managed to go to a store. And uh, get a heap of Shiny Star V singles. So my website is pretty cleaned out with Shiny Star V singles right now. So I'm able to replenish plenty Shiny Star V singles here. I think I have all of these, to be honest. So I'm not going to be taking any for myself. These Charizards, I think there's like four or five in here. I'm not going to take them out because you've already seen them. These Charizards have gone up in price like crazy. 22 to, tw 22 to $30 on eBay for a tag ball and then 180 for a PSA 10. Fascinating. Fascinating. I don't know why, but uh crazy. So this one's actually really cool. I or I got this so long ago. So long ago that I forgot it even was I even had it. So we got um again the legend Sorry, Legend Ho-Oh half cards. Uh, I highly recommend getting these Legend cards while you still can, uh, especially in Japanese. Another Legend uh, legend uh, half, double half, whatever you call it. Palkia and Dialga, really, really cool. And then we also have the Entei and Suicune, probably could be my favorite or close to my favorite. And then for some reason I got these also. Really cool full art uh, Zekrom. Love the texture in that. And then some uh, holographics from Diamond and Pearl era. Garchomp. And uh, a first edition. Oh, this is from Black and White. Never mind. This one's from P Diamond and Pearl. This one's from Black and White. Yeah. Interesting. Marnie PSA 10 is around $1,000. Really? There was one that was best offer accepted at $950. The only one I see was one that was sold at $950. But it says best offer accepted, so... So I'm gonna say straight off the bat, I'm keeping one card because I need it for my collection. So I'm sorry about that. But I don't worry, I'm getting another one in shortly. Because I know a lot of people need this card to complete their set. It is the uh, the gorgeous Suicune from Shiny Star V. The elusive baby shiny Suicune. It's the one I've been searching for this one is really expensive this is the most expensive baby shiny in the entire set really difficult to actually find on the secondary market to be honest with you so if you already have a sweet good, good job and then a ton more singles i actually don't have that glossy floor i don't think yeah really nice singles there this is the last package guys and then we're done basically i do look at the market itself i'm more inclined to look at what i paid for it how much it cost me to get from my supplier all that kind of stuff and sell it cheaper to you guys otherwise you know there'd be no point in my store you just could buy it cheaper off of ebay here is some ditto grim snarl some reshiram's kyogre ice q synesthes uh applin galarian ponita and then uh dad bod rose damn looking good my man looking good that's everything guys we made it when i have like things i already had in the store it's really easy for me to like just put in like a new number like update it to however many is in the inventory but if it's like a new card which like 90 percent of the stuff is new i have to find like new pictures new description what it costs all that kind of stuff and it takes me freaking ages it's gonna take me a long time a long long time to sort the inventory out for sure and count everything god i appreciate each and every one of you for joining me this is below me look at this this is where i've been putting all the trash does this look like fun to you guys it's not fun it's not gonna be fun to clean up i appreciate all of you thank you so so much